Hey everyone, it's Kato, and today I am ready to just destroy everything. So if you're interested in content like this and you want to see more in the future, I'd appreciate if you'd like and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time that I post, but let's get right into it. So I actually realized yesterday how confused I was about my three islands. So if you're new here and you don't know, I have three islands and up until this point, I had done a pretty good job of managing them and remembering what I was doing on each one. And then yesterday, I was so confused and I couldn't remember which island was which and what was going on. And so I thought to myself, self that must be very confusing for everyone else who's watching because if you can't even remember what you're doing on your island i'm sure that everyone else can't remember so today i'm actually going to be working on destroying some of this island that i'm on right now and kind of trying to decide what my plan is for all of my islands and go through with y'all what's going on so the island that we're on right now is Amora, which prior to the 2.0 update, my plans for this island were to make a vintage grandma core style of island. That was kind of the theme I was going for, a bunch of pinks and whites. Then the 2.0 update happened and I started adding a bunch of farm elements. It shifted into a grandma core farm island and then I started working on my other islands. So this island got pushed to the back burner and I haven't really done anything since. All I have is this front entrance area and I have it kind of leading over here over to a single house. And the thing about it is, is I really do like this terraforming through here. And I like the way this entrance is, so I don't know if I'm quite ready to say goodbye to this, but maybe I am. I don't know. I think my plans are, I'm going to use this island to create some other random builds and mood boards and all of that stuff. So I am going to get rid of at least this section right here. And then the rest of it, I just need to kind of clean up and tear down all of this random stuff that I have going on. I think part of the problem is all of my islands are very much at the beginning stages of whatever is going on on them and so it makes things that much more confusing. So let's head over to the next island. All right now we are over here on Burgonia and Burgonia used to be my no terraforming island and my initial plan was I wasn't going to destroy it. I was actually going to reset the island and start over. However, I started building this entrance and it came up with the theme of Coastal Christmas and I really loved it. I love how it started. So I just kind of kept going with it and I decided it's too much of a pain for me to reset every time. I love the idea of it, but for me personally, it's too much of a grind at the beginning to accumulate everything, especially now that we have all the new items. It's just too much, and the thought of it, I could never do it. So for now, anyway, I'm kind of stuck with these three islands, and that's my plan moving forward is just to have them and tear down and flatten every time that I want to create a new island. Obviously, I hate that I can't have multiple dream addresses for this, but that's what I'm doing right now. This is my coastal Christmas island, and this is the most built out island that I have right now. And that concerns me because this island ideally needs to be done pretty soon, and it's really not anywhere close to being done. <laughs> As you can see from the map, the front section is covered in dirt path because I don't know why I decided that was a good idea. And then I have everything kind of planned and mapped out. What I want to do, I still have an incline to remove and some bridges to deal with, but the houses, I know where they're going to go. All of the buildings, I know exactly where they're going, I just have to move them. But all I have actually done is the entrance and then if you head over this way, 
I have the start of a shopping district right here. And up here is Able Sisters. And then I want to have an overlook onto this big lake area. And if you go down here, this is a continuation of the shopping district plus an ice rink. I have a Christmas tree farm over here. We have a random farm area and this is actually where my house is going to go. And if you head up this way, this area is a work in progress, but there is definitely some of it done. We've got this housing area and I'm going to continue it over here. I just haven't gotten all of the supplies to do so. And then I have one more area that is kind of the start of it is done. And that is this boardwalk area, which is another one of my favorites. I love the way this is turning out. I just need to sit down and spend some time decorating and continue working on it. So that is the start of my coastal Christmas island. We gotta get to work on this one. It needs to be done sooner rather than later. So this is my current priority island. And last but not least, we have Nedia. This is my garden fairy tale island, which I started on stream about a week ago, a week or two. This is one of those things where sometimes I'll just have an idea for a theme or I'll start putting things together and the theme will kind of create itself. And I never know if I want to do an entire island based on that. I normally start with the entrance and then I go from there and I just kind of see how things are going to go. This one I am going to continue to try to build some more based on this theme. I don't know if it'll turn into an entire island or if I'll just do a few random builds and then move on. But this is what I have so far. This is the entrance. This is the only thing that I've done. This is my original island that I started the day that Animal Crossing came out. It has been through so many iterations. Most recently was the spooky version and I tore all of that down and this is where we are. The start of a garden fairy tale. I love the idea of it. I just don't know if I'll be able to make an entire island in this theme. You just never know. So that's where we are. We've got the vintage farm grandma core island which is actually just going to turn into some random builds over there we've got the coastal christmas island and then we got this one which is a garden fairy tale island so much going on but i hope this kind of clears up my three islands what my plans are and what we're doing <laughs> i know it helped me to sort everything out and I hope you enjoyed this island update video. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!